Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. I'm going to skip the bumper. I'm going to skip the introduction, get right into artist number 128. So what's this all about? I made, I worked on this for a year, guys, a year. So I made 133 playlists of artists that I like. And then it just felt like that was the right number. I know it's random. I know it's random. But that's what it was. And so anyway, we're at number 129. And what's the criteria? It's down below, but it's basically ranking 80-minute playlists that I made of all these artists. And if you want to listen to the playlist, it's in the, you know, look below. I've got a link. You can go to my Spotify account. And you can save it or just play it or doctor it up yourself. Swipe the songs out of there. Uh, also, these artists, uh, how much do I care about them? Do I, do I read articles and comb through the magazines? Do I watch documentaries or live footage about them on uh, you know, YouTube? Do I own DVDs? Et cetera, et cetera. And then finally, have I seen them live? Well, this artist I have not seen live. But I did own eight of his CDs at one point in time. He's from Los Angeles, California. He's 54 years old. Both of his parents are well-known and have their own wiki pages. And he blew up in the 90s. Yeah, I'm talking about one word, Beck. Love Beck. Right now, I'm only down to two CDs of his. I've got Mellow Gold right there and then i've got modern guilt but i owned every cd in between some of them i lost in a divorce some of them are down at the record store i know midnight vultures is down there i see it all the time nobody's bought it yet but love beck so Incredible, you know, a song like Where It's At is probably my favorite song. Two turntables and a microphone. It's just, it's got one foot retro, one foot in the future, which I'm talking about that future, the 90s. Now that future is 30 years old. And pretty soon we'll be mining the 90s. Right now we're mining the 80s in modern music. But yeah, I mean, at the time it felt modern and old at the same time. Love that song, but then he just completely shocked me with Sea Change, which is a serious album, and I love that album. Love, love, love that album. It made my best of for um, what you know, one of my top albums, uh, one of my top thirty albums for that year. And so, yeah, I'm a big fan of Beck. Never seen him live. Uh, would like to have, but yeah, it just didn't work out. But I'm a fan. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, my favorite albums of his, probably Odelay and Sea Change, the two that I mentioned songs from. Um, guess I'm doing fine. These are just uh, devastating, devastating emotional songs. But I'll tell you, this album, Modern Guilt, it's underrated. Yeah, love it. Anyway, and Guero. Guero, I think, is really underrated. Anyhow, that's it, number 128. Thanks for joining me, and if you like what I'm doing, hit the like or subscribe button, and as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.